Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some little miniature props that I got. They're actually like finger toys, most of them, but we're gonna use them as some props. So we have a wide variety of things that we're going to look at today. We have some arcade stuff. We have some um, like gym things. We have some outdoors things for like a carnival, stuff like that. Uh, playground equipment. I don't really know how to describe it. You just have to take a look. So, so we got seven little mini things that we're going to take a look at. We're going to take them out of the box, put them together, check them out. Okay, so first up, I think we're going to take a look at this electronic pinball machine for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, this one is a micro arcade product. Um, so the packaging has the turtles everywhere. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We got a lot of detailing on the side of the turtles and their logo and stuff like that and a decal there and on the front and again here on the side. I love that they put so much detail work into these things. Like you can see, you know, all of their, their logos, which of course they would want, they wanna advertise. Um, and it also works, so you can turn it on like that. And then the screens actually work for you to play. All right, so here we have a size compare for some of our figures. This is one of the Ninja Turtles that I have um, lined up with the machine like he's playing. That's a really compatible size, in my opinion. And then this is a Deku standing behind. I mean, he's okay next to it. I do think that he's going to be too tall to really, like, utilize with this unless I raise it up on top of something. Okay, so here we have Deku playing. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but it just looks a little bit awkward. So that's just a little size compare for you. You. This is the NECA uh, Michelangelo, and this is the McFarlane Deku. Alright, next up we're going to check out our other arcade machine. This again is another TMNT arcade machine. So this one is actually Tiny Arcade, where this one was Boardwalk Arcade. There we go, see Boardwalk Arcade. And so this one is a different brand, um, still Nickelodeon TMNT. But this time it is a world's smallest, the smallest fully functional arcade game. Um, this one is actually like a little keychain, but we're just going to ignore the keychain part. And I can tell right off the bat it's not going to be tall enough to like fit with any of our figures. So we're just going to have to like raise it a bit and thus we use it with a Nindroid. Alright, so here is the TMNT arcade. Now what I think is really cool about this is that I have the arcade one up version of this exact same thing out on Nerdy Island. So I think it's really dope to have a little tiny version of it as well. So unlike the other one, this is not like a button or, you know, anything raised. It's just a sticker, but that's okay. This one you should be able to play as well. There we go. Uh, this looks to be just like a demo, like the other one when we first turned it on. This is just it standing up on its own because it needs some sort of riser at the bottom. But if we were to put one of the figures next to it, obviously it is way too tall. Now, if we were to put some sort of like riser underneath it, obviously not this tall, but I could make one out of like foam board or something like that, then it would really work uh, with my different figures. So then I could have them, you know, a little bit closer and looking like they're playing. But this is still kind of small form factor. I just thought it was really dope to have two TMNT little like games or arcades or whatnot. But this is what it looks like with like my Mario. So that's a pretty good size. You know, even if I just kept it here with no riser, then I could play with like Mario or Sonic or somebody like that. That's a decent size. Even if I put it on like a little riser, his face size compared to the screen is great. All right, since we just were doing arcade things, technically this is still kind of an arcade thing. They're typically found in arcades or, you know, Chuck E. Cheese or whatever. So next up is a ski ball. So this is a desktop ski ball, basically for you to like play with your finger at your desk or whatever.
boom, there we go. Now they fit. So that's what it looks like right there with all of the little ski balls and the little stickers on there. Oh, at this angle, you can kind of see the stickers with their different numbers. I like that. So that is a size comparison of Deku with the ski ball. I mean, honestly, not the most realistic, but again, not horrible for a toy photo. I think that it could definitely work. I could kind of make the angling work and it would, it would look decent. That is Mario with the ski ball. It definitely looks uh, more realistic with Mario there. He can't just stick his arm out and reach it and throw it in the hole. Um, so that sizing definitely looks a lot better. All right, next up, I guess we're just gonna go left to right is what I'm thinking. So let's go ahead and check out this tether ball. Um, this one will be interesting. I don't know, I just got a little click happy when I was seeing them come up on Amazon. So I decided to get it. There we go. That is our tether ball. It is too large to even fit in the frame. Man, maybe if I scoot it all the way back. Ugh. There we go, all the way in the frame. That is a very nice size. So like next to Deku, obviously it's gonna be way too big for this guy. I mean, technically he could still play. That's pretty cool. I think that'll look better in the background versus like them actually playing. I feel like it takes up way too much space to be viable for like a good toy photo. Unless I did like some creative type angle or something like that. All right, next up we got the strong man. It's the little strength test thingy where you hit it with a mallet and then bing, it strikes up. So let's check this one out. Whoop. Boom, there we go. We got Deku holding the mallet, ready to see how strong he is. If he uses that plus ultra power, then he should be able to knock the bell straight off. Bing. All right, now we got one of the turtles ready to give it some turtle power. And then last but not least, we got our little Mario giving it a shot himself. So yeah, so this is pretty cool. It really works with any of the figures. It's a little bit small for the Deku, still maybe even a little bit small for Michelangelo, but it's a great size for Mario and I would definitely would use it with the other two figures. All right, next up, let's check out the boxing set. I'm excited for this one, along with that weight set. These two are the ones I'm most excited for. All right, let's see. Okay, we got two little pairs of boxing gloves. They're supposed to be for your fingers. Pow, 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 pow. Pew, 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 pew. And then, boom, got a little punching bag. <clears throat> I mean, and to be honest, we could figure out a way to like, oh no. Shoot. Well. Got that piece stuck in there. I was gonna say, I could probably take that off and then even hang it to be like a hanging punching bag. Could still do that really, work with this part. Boom, there we go. We got Deku with the punching bag. Got the little boxing gloves on his hands. I kind of like that effect, the way that they look on his hands being oversized. That would be a pretty dope photo. Maybe with this like off in the background because it's kind of small compared to Deku. Size wise, I feel like the punching bag is probably perfect for Mario, there we go. Yeah, that's a great size right there. Um, I don't think that it would work with Michelangelo either. I think it would still be a little too short, but we could always lift it up, make it a little taller, and finesse it and do what we gotta do. Actually, it's a pretty good size for Michelangelo because it's not like a full-on punching bag. It's one of those, you know, punching bags that stands up on the ground like this, and that's about how high they are as compared to the person punching them, so that's pretty dope. And last but not least, we got our weight set. We already have one of these because I got one for my birthday, but I decided to go ahead and pick up another one so I have multiple weights to create a whole little gym scene. Oops, ripped the box. All right, so first we got a little stretch band to go around their legs if they wanted to do like some kind of little leg workout. So it's like, you know, the little rubber band to work out your legs or whatever. And he can like close his legs and spread them and get that workout. Mm, fill that burn. Then we got uh, two sets of weights. We got smaller ones. Let's call these like 10 pounds. Then we got some larger ones like 25 pounds. Something like that. That's what it makes me think of. But we got four weight plates in total. We got a little um, kettlebell here. It says 60 grams. This thing is actually heavy. It's crazy that it's really weighted. I guess you're supposed to really use it to work out your fingers. <laughs> But yeah, we got a little uh, weighted kettlebell there. And then inside of here, 
we got a sweatband, which obviously, like, you know, like I said, this is a finger thing. So sweatband is really for your finger, the way that it's shaped. And then this part is the little bar for, you know, lifting weights, obviously. So we can pop our weights on the side. We just kind of feed them through and they stay because they're nice and snug. Boom, there we go. A full set right there. And then I'm gonna create my own little bench for the figures probably. And then, you know, they can lift on the bench. And then it'll look something like that once I create the bench of them, you know, actually lifting. It's pretty dope. Pretty decent size too. All right, there you have it, all of the little props that we opened today. We got the TMNT pinball machine, we got the ski ball, we got tether ball, we got the little strongman joint, we got boxing, we got weightlifting, and then we got a TMNT arcade cabinet right there. Thanks so much for checking out this unboxing, guys. Um, I think all of these props are going to look really awesome in some toy photography. I just have to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with them. I often see things and I'm like, ooh, that'd be a good prop. But I don't ever really know exactly how I'm going to use it. So I have to figure that out. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, let me know in the comment section which of these little props was your favorite. And do you think these are cool at all? Which one would you pick up? If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification. And be sure to share this video and my channel with anybody that you think may enjoy. And don't forget, I have a PO box if you want to send me any letters, photos, or fun little gifts. But as always, guys, remember, keep it nerdy.